Greetings and salutations, booze and goose. Welcome to another episode of the Digital Commanders. As always, I am Chadwick, otherwise known as M. M. Al. And we have a special uh, episode, at least special to me anyway, that is, uh, of Digital Commanders. Battlefield 4 Beta. Now, I love the Battlefield series. I've been playing Battlefield since... Well, I, I entered in Bad Company 2, but I ended up going back and playing 1942 um, as well. So... October 1st, which was yesterday for me and my part of the world, anyone who bought Medal of Honor, I believe Warfighter, or pre-ordered uh, Battlefield 4 Limited Edition, or had premium service on Battlefield 3, had access on October 1st of the beta, everyone else is going to be able to join on October 4th, which I believe is Thursday. Uh, first thing off the bat, as you can see on the screen here, Brand new map area, brand new user interface. I actually really like this and prefer it. It's really easy to get through and choose. You got your basics up here, assault, engineer, uh, support, and recon. One little thing that I first noticed right off the bat, for those of you who have played Battlefield 3, you will have noticed that the support class isn't the one carrying the C4. It is actually the recon class, the sniper class now, that does that. Sniper class also has been... I think the mechanics have definitely been tweaked. Um, I find it a lot more comfortable to be roaming around as a recon class. It's, it felt a little, I don't know, heavy or kind of just, I don't want to say, clunk, well, kind of clunky in Battlefield 3. Certainly doesn't feel that way here. Um, another nifty little feature is when you're about to deploy on one of your teammates. So you can see them here. These are your teammates in green. These are part of your, uh, excuse me, I should say squad mates to, to differentiate here. The orange people are the bad guys. The blue people are part of your overall team. This is a domination match, so we need to control all these three points. Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Um, when you decide to click on one of your teammates and you want to spawn on them, you can now see on the screen on the bottom left here what they're seeing. So, like, right now he's under fire. If he was under fire, obviously you wouldn't want to spawn on that person because you're going to be dying right off the bat before your boots even touch the ground. So I really like that part. Um, let's go into this. You can now customize your guns. And you can see what your guy looks like and all that kind of stuff. Support class. Can I turn him? Yes, I can. See what he looks like. And you can do this not only to the player models, but you can also do it to the guns, which I'll show you here in just a few moments. You can see my kit progression uh, when I first started playing this yesterday uh, at, at the midnight launch. Uh, for, for me, it was actually at 1 a.m. I started playing as a sniper. The sniper, the recon looks really cool now. They don't look as, I don't know, they kind of look toony to me from Battlefield 3, to be quite honest. Anyway, so you can, let's see here, customize your gun to rotate the gun, blah, 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 blah. This is the gun that I like prefer to use. Um, there are unlocks as you progress in rank, um, either by the class that you use or by your actual ranking overall. You can change all these different things, your sight, your accessory, the barrel, flash hider compensator, your grip, and also the paint color. Um, and that goes for everything. So let's go ahead and jump in here. I'm just going to choose him. Again, the uh, objective here is to control these three points. Look at that, I won. That's how amazing I am. That's why I'm a digital commander. Boots touch the ground, boom, automatic win. So we'll wait for the next round to start up here uh, and you guys will get a feel of uh, how the match works. This is what happens at the end of a match. You get your, your points and everything. Okay, so I'm going in as engineer because I like that gun. And here we go. I guess we're gonna go for Charlie. We now have control of objective, Bravo. Uh, and these match might go for a little bit, so I might be, be cutting here or there. Um, just to, uh... Video be a little bit uh, bearable for you guys. Again, you'll be seeing jerking, uh... In the video quality. Not much I can do about it, that's just the nature of the game. So many people trying to get in on this. And play. Okay, so when you die, you see that um, it shows you the stats of the person that killed you, which direction they were at, 
and it highlights them in case they were behind cover so that when you respawn, you can go at them. This guy's gonna sh gank me. Ah, they're like all over. Oh, they have like every single point. What the heck is going on here? The team, uh, the team's like doing something. So this is pretty much it for those of you who aren't familiar with Battlefield. Um, this isn't the, as many um, type of matches as there are. This is just one type. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, I was going to try and knife him. So there's a new mechanic in Battlefield 4, and I was hoping that's what I was going to be able to show you. People can now counter your knife movement. If you're trying to come up uh, at someone and knife them, there's a cool little animation of you knifing them and you get their dog tags and it's kind of a um, bragging rights that you have someone's dog tags. But in this game, they can counter it. Now I have a bit of an issue with it. At first I was like, whoa, this is so cool. Like, this is going to change uh, the mechanics of the game. And it does, but to my knowledge right now, there's no way to counter someone else's counter on you. So, it kind of seems like right now, and I could be wrong in this, but... Um, I could be wrong in this, but right now it seems like just an automatic kill to you if someone is able to press the button at the right time. Which I kind of think is... not that cool. Um, I would rather have it to where if you countered somebody else's counter, then you guys just let go of each other and then you have to shoot it out. I think that would be a little bit more fun of a game dynamic. Um, it might change the pressure and, it, and motivate people to get a better angle at knifing someone from the back instead of trying to go at them from the side or the front where they can see you and actually counter. Here we go, throwing a grenade. Shooting you in the chest, taking your flag. Oh! Oh, that's not good. Someone's around me, though. Ah! Why are they all back at Charlie? That's not helpful at all. I guess I could try sniping. Da, da, da. Let's try sniping. Yes! Yes! Are we all in agreement? Goose and goose? I'm just gonna take it that you said yes. So, I want to show you guys another little lifty thing. Again, you can see the little the kind of video thing going on here uh, with the beta. It comes and goes. Haven't been able to pinpoint why it does it. It just does. So, there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you the one way. The railing that I came up here from, this is not set this way. These railings, when you start this match, are all the way they should be all connected. But somebody blew this up with either a grenade or an RPG or C4 to bring this railing down so that you can walk up it. Ah, more people must be connecting because this is getting out of hand with this glitcher. So you can come up here via a ladder or, which I'll show you right now, there are actual elevators that you can go in now. You can enter skyscrapers and big buildings and go up to the top here on an elevator. This is helpful because if, if you're up here, like that guy just did, if you're up here, right, and you're sniping people and you're not watching to your back, the elevator will make a noise like ding ding that somebody's there so that you'll know um, when somebody's trying to come up behind you. So I first, when I first realized this, an enemy was actually up here where I'm at right now with this glass and they were trying to shoot me. And I very quickly, just instinctually, oh, he's standing on glass. Things can be... Uh, blown up in battlefield. Let me shoot the glass. So I shot the glass as you can see the difference between glass No glass glass no glass shot the glass from underneath him fell to his death and I got the kill for it zing um, So there's a whole bunch of oh See that they came up just exactly what I was saying So there's different uh, environmental parts of the game here oh. Uh, you can change the environment and thus change your advantage or possibly have a disadvantage 
Wow, that was some major lag going on there. Uh, or disadvantage by changing parts of the environment. And it kind of brings more of a serious uh, mechanic to the game that now not only do you have to look in nooks and crannies and corners on the ground, but now you have to look on the roof, right? I mean, which is kind of how it would be in real life. So, it, oh, look at this. Boom. Boom. Look at that. Did he die? I think he did die. That's what I was talking about. You shoot the glass from underneath them and whoop, there they go. Asta lasagna, don't get any on you. On the way down. Alright, let me see if I can uh, show you guys a knife kill here. If I can get one, I'm hoping that I can. And actually, we better. this is the one time I actually want them to counter me. So that you can see how the mechanic works and hopefully the, the glitchiness and stuff won't. Be too much. Uh, those little ribbons, for those of you who don't know, the Battlefield games, uh, there's different things that you can do in a match, and you can earn ribbons, which which um, add to your overall score at the end of a match and help you rank up overall on top of all the other stuff. He is going to go up the elevator. And so, yes, also in case one of you had a question, you can spawn on your teammates even when they are in an elevator. Uh, another quick thing, if they shoot out the glass, how are you supposed to get across? Walk on the beans. Right? I really like games like that where they kind of bring some common sense into it. It's not so arcade-ish. It's kind of just common sense. You can walk on beams. They're there to walk on glass. If you shoot it, people will fall through. Give it to me. Did I get him? I didn't get him. He must have saw me throw it. Uh, you can add uh, tripods, which would be an accessory to your guns, which if I still had it on... Whoa. Whoa. Pardon me, sir. Oh, come on! Lag! Ah! Alright. Let's see here. I believe we're winning. Because we have most of the points... ...controlled. Oh! Another little nifty feature. So do you see these bars? Ah. I'm like trying to give you the grand tour while being in the middle of a battle. Thus the game called Battlefield. You see these bars here, these little security bars? When you first start the match, this is all glass windows, right? As you can see here, glass window that's been shattered from, from gunshots. But... Uh... If you're... up here, and you get in here before the enemy does, there's... There's this button here you can press, it says open shutters. Right? And you'll close these security shutters on these windows, which means people can't come up behind you and flank you if you're trying to grab Charlie flag. Now here's the cool thing, because everything's dynamic, right? Dynamic environment. Which is my favorite thing uh, in this Battlefield game. If you have C4 or an RPG, you can blow up those security gates on the windows. Like as you see here, they're blown up. And you can still jump through, right? So there's there's all these dynamic actions that you can do to progress uh, the match. And I like it. It keeps you on your toes. There's always something different that can happen. It's not so static. Oh, he threw a grenade! And we win it. Woo! So I didn't get a chance to show you a knife kill. If you want to see a knife kill, I'm sure there's plenty of other videos that you can go check that out uh, or see what the counter move is. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's been Battlefield 4. Catch you all next time. Come on, come on. Grab it. No, I didn't grab it. Grabbing. Grab something. Grab something? Nope. <laughs> you grabbed a bird. <laughs> all right.